Hey, this is Johnny. Um, I wanted to show you my new um, switcher for my pedal board. This is my complete pedal board now. Um, this is the Zoom MS50G, which is a uh, inexpensive multiple effects unit. These are about, I don't know, 100 to 120 bucks new. You can pick them up used for about $70. Um, it's got like something over 100 effects and um, up to four, five, six at a time. And you can set up um, different chains or think of them as different pedal boards. So if you want a pedal board that has a phaser and a delay and a reverb, you can set that as one and have another one be a EQ or a distortion and um, an echo. You could do that as well. You know, and you could set up to 50 of these things. Well, I only need three effects um, for my guitar. Uh, rig and that is i like to have um a spring reverb similar to an old fender a uh, echo you know analog delay tape delay something along that lines and the third thing is um a, a tremolo like a old fender amp tremolo or um you know one of the old Armands, or you know some funky old valco amp you know i love the old, old um tremolo sound you know bo diddley style so um, this, uh, is kind of difficult to set up. Um, it takes you quite a while to go through and set all these parameters and set up all these, uh, effects chains. And what I would do for the last few years is I would just use this pedal alone and I had a reverb, a tremolo, and a delay. And I had it set where this button turned on and off the tremolo. And that's all I ever needed. But... Um, it's very complicated and oftentimes I would go to hit the button and do something completely wrong and um, it's not very uh, well suited to making changes while you're playing or while trying to change something. So what I've come up with is this uh, new switching system. This is a thing called a, let me see, focus on this. It's called an Mvave, Mvave, Mvave Chocolate is what the name of this little four button controller is called. And it's a wireless Bluetooth switcher. And you can use this thing and connect it to your iPad or you can connect it to your phone or you can connect it to whatever. Some people use it for switching pages on their um digital songbook you know you got a songbook you want to flip pages you you step on this to flip the pages well what some of the things i've been reading is that you know they're using it as a midi switcher and so they came up the same company makes this makes another little thing it's right here and let's see if we we'll focus on that uh, excuse the dog here it's a midi switcher from the Mbave, and it's called a ms1 I guess that's MIDI switcher. So the MIDI switcher is just this part right here. Uh, it plugs into a USB power supply, uh, like the little brick that you plug in the wall to to charge your phone. And then it uses a mini USB, not a micro USB, mini USB cable to go from this to your whatever device. Now you can plug use this for uh, different kinds of things that have a mini USB, or you could use a um, it also comes with an adapter that has a standard MIDI cable, okay? So you could hook this thing into the MIDI cable and then control any kind of MIDI keyboard or anything you like. So, <clears throat> so you need to have a, you, you'll need to buy this chocolate. You'll need to buy the MS1. You'll need a MIDI, a, a USB to mini cable. And then what I came up with is this is just a simple, very inexpensive battery for a cell phone charger, right? It's like you charge your phone and put your phone in your pocket and charge it, right? It's got two USBs on it, and I'm only using one at the time. Um, I could use a second USB cable to go from uh, the other outlet over and put it to the 9-volt power supply. But it's already pulling the power for the 9-volt power supply through this as well. So not only is this acting as a switcher, it's also supplying power to this unit because... I pulled the batteries completely out of the um, multi-stomp, and it will still turn this on and still do all the switching for the 
zoom. So anyway, um, here's this little switcher, right? You got these put, back, this is 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, or you can switch it and it's, uh, let's see, let's see, 2, 2B, 2A, 2B, 2C, 2D, right? Or I can go back down here and I'm back at my one. All right, so when I push these buttons, okay, here's my 1A setting, my 1B setting, here's my 1C setting, here's my 1D setting. What I've done is I've set up four pedal boards, basically, you could think of in here. One of them is a reverb, a echo, and a tremolo. One of them is a reverb, a echo, and a uh, univibe. And one is a, a reverb, a echo, and a um, rotary speaker, you know, Leslie kind of thing. So, so when I push on this button, it turns it all off, right? Except it turns off the, um, the whatever rotary I have, whether it's tremolo or reverb. So I push this button, wow, I've got my tremolo. Push this button. I've got my uh, Univibe. Push this button. Got my Leslie. And that's it, you know. And this thing is pretty cheap. It's like 30 bucks on eBay. And the little MS-20 is like 15 you know. So by the time you pay shipping on this uh, Envave chocolate and the matching MS-1, you're at about 50 bucks, right? You spend 7 bucks on... Amazon to get you a mini USB cable and another 20 bucks on a battery and you've got a whole setup here um, So that's that's what I've come up with um, It's a little bit fidgety to set up uh, When you first get the chocolate and you first get the MS1 you do have to use either a computer or a smartphone um, I used an iPhone and you go on the Apple Store and you download the uh, app from Mbave and um, you know set up your devices um, one of the things that doesn't make a whole lot of sense in the setup is for the setting up the MS1 um, they have different kind of um, talk that the um, device um, is doing you know is it going is it is it going from the device you know, is it going from here to here, or is it going from here to here? Is the connection? What is this? What is this? Want you, what do you want this to do? And you have to set the thing up where it's a it's a one way connection. It just switches from here to here. So whatever this is doing sends a signal to here. It's not sending a signal back. So you have to go in there and you have to do the configuration where it's that uh, that particular circumstances. And they use some weird language. That is nothing like what I just used to describe how to do this. I can't remember what the language was. But anyway, I thought you might want to see this video. And it works really well. Um, I haven't tried it on a gig yet. I'm supposed to do so in about a week or so, and I'll see. So, you know, what I'll do is I'll be able to set this on top of the amp. All right? Plug it in. And then I'll be able to take this across the room, wherever. You know, cordless, wireless. It's rechargeable. And put it on my music stand, put it on the floor, step on it with my feet, leave it on my music stand, switch it with my hands, whatever. Anyway, um, I thought it would be, um, thought it would, you know, we'll find out. So, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, Johnny Atomic out.